Mark Bradley, when I uh, was looking for cars to include in the show today and I came up to you and somebody while I was talking to you walked by, looked at your car and went, oh wow, I, I knew right then I'd made a good choice. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's what I said when I found it. It's, it's a good journey, uh -huh. I'll tell you. Beautiful car. Uh, how long have you had and what's the, the journey been like? Uh, the journey's been fun. Uh, I learned a lot. Me and my boys spent a lot of time together, putting the car together and working on it. Uh, after eight year restoration, this is what I've got. And I've had it nine, ten years. And what you see is the labor of love. So nine or ten years ago, was it uh, sitting in the garage with holes rusted through the floorboard and chrome missing, or what, what did you start with? I started with a car that I found in a farmer's field in Iowa, and basically the bottom half of the car was rotten, somebody pushed it around with a forklift. Matter of fact, I got it into town and had the tow company bring it through the yard, and all the guys at work were giving me such crap that kind of depressed me for a little while, but encouraged me to do a better job. and drove it back through there and everybody just kind of had to eat you. So a, a, a farmer's field in Iowa, what a visual. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. So You told me off camera that you painted this car yourself and you're not a painter by trade. The paint job on this thing is absolutely stunning. How'd you get so good right out of the gate? Trial and error, read a few books, watch a few people paint, talk to some of the old school guys and they gave me some tips and it worked out. It worked out really good. You've kept this very stock. You have Kelsey Hayes. Did they come on the, the wire wheels? Were they on it that year? Yes. Uh, Kelsey Hayes came on it with the wide whites. Those were a factory option. Uh, these are actually redone ones. They're not the originals. They're a little too much money to redo them. So. I've seen 55 and 56 Dodges where, uh, for some reason, they, they seem to be magnets for side pipes uh, in the custom world, and uh, no, no tempting, uh, no, no tempted to put flamethrowers in the back of this or side pipes or, or do anything like that with it. No, I think it's much more exciting keeping it bone stock. I mean, people really love it. I love it. It's, you don't, you don't see them, especially done like they were when they rolled off the showroom floor. And the power plant on it. Uh, two seven, original 270 Hemi, everything to the car is original with the exception of the paint and the interior, but all the motors and, and rear end and all that stuff is original to the car. Oh, Hemi, the magic word. Yeah, the little baby Hemi. Well, this looks like, uh, I'll, I'll let you go because it looks like you probably need to go be in the, the Daffodil Parade or, or the Rose Parade or some kind of parade with a couple of princesses waving from the back seat. <laughs> yeah, we'll try that sometime. Okay. <laughs> all right, thank you.